Hello and welcome to Baki Gaming and this is the Sims 4 tutorial how to change in-game text using a tuning mod and in this case the in-game interaction text of a shower. The programs we are going to use are the game The Sims 4 and The Sims 4 Studio. So let's start by opening The Sims 4 Studio and by filling in your creator name if you haven't already done so. Now you can choose to make an override of an item made by EA or to make a standalone item. I'm choosing for the standalone item so I can show you the difference between the original and this new one more easier later on in this video. As standalone is already selected, click the object button. In the next window, type the code A50E into the search bar to easily find the object we are going to work with. Select it and click on next. In the next window, name your file and click on save to make it into its own package file. To easily find it in game later on, you can change the object name and description. After that, click on the warehouse tab. In the warehouse, scroll all the way down and click on one of the definition lines. Again, scroll all the way down until you see a line called tuning. Copy the text behind that word, then go to tools and click on extract tuning. In the window that opens, paste the text you just copied into the empty search bar at the top. A new line will appear that looks very similar to our copied line. Click this line and after that click on add to current package. After it has been extracted you can close the window. In the warehouse when scrolling all the way down you will see that another line has been added called object tuning. Click this line and click on the data tab. As we are going to make a new tuning for this object we need to give this tuning a new name. So delete the original tuning name and then make a unique new one starting with your creator name, followed by a colon, then the name of your project for example and ending with the date and time. This way you will always have a unique name. After that press enter. A new tuning ID will appear. For linking this new tuning to the object, first copy the new tuning name. Then go to the first definition line. Scroll all the way down and paste it behind the word tuning. When hitting enter you will notice that the tuning ID will change automatically too. Now do the same for all other definition lines so it will work for all swatches. After you've done that click the object tuning line again and scroll down until you see a section called super affordances. As we want to change the take shower interaction copy the number in front of the take shower text. Then go to tools and extract tuning again. Paste the number into the search bar, select the line that appears and click on add to current package. After extracting, close the window. In the warehouse scroll all the way down and a new line called interaction tuning has appeared. Click this line and click the data tab. As we are going to make a new interaction text, we need a new interaction name. So just as before, start with your creator name, followed by a colon, your new interaction name and end with the data and time. Hit enter and now copy the tuning ID instead of the name. Click the object tuning line and go to the super affordances section again. Now replace the number we copied to find the take shower interaction. If you scroll all the way up you will find that same number and text. Replace this number with the new one too. We now linked the new interaction to the object tuning. Now it's time to actually change the in-game text itself. To do so, click the interaction tuning line again. Now scroll down until you see a line that's ending with a preview of the text you want to change, written in green. In front of that text you will find a hex number starting with a 0 and an X. As this text is an interaction text, the line will start with display underscore name. To change the text itself, we first need to add a new string table entry. So in warehouse scroll all the way up and click the first string table. It's probably the English one. Then behind entries click on edit items. To add a new text we need a new key code. To make one we're going to use the hash generator. So first click cancel. Then go to tools and click on hash generator. Now again choose a unique name to place into the text bar. Start with your creator name followed by the colon and something like new interaction string underscore take shower. End it with the data and time. Then copy the number behind FNV32 and close the window. Click the top string table again and click on edit items. Click on add and paste the hex code we just made into the key section. For value type down the new interaction text you want to use. In this case I will start with an open brace followed by a zero, 
then a dot, the text sim first name and a closed brace. What this code will do is place whatever your sim's first name is on that place. Then I place a comma and the text you stink, go take a shower. After that, click save. To copy this text to all string tables for every language, Studio has a handy cheat code that will do all of that for you in just one click. Go to tools, modding and click on copy string tables to all languages. If you don't do this, people playing the game in another language than English will get an empty interaction balloon. Now the last thing we need to do is link this new text to the interaction tuning. So click on the interaction tuning line at the bottom of the warehouse and on the XML tab. Now scroll down to the same line we found before with the text we want to change, written in green. Select the code right behind the X and then press Ctrl V to paste the hex code we also used as key code for our new text in the string table. You can also add your new text to the green preview text so you know which text you changed. I always keep the original text, use a backslash and then type down the new text. After you've done this, click save, move your package file into your mods folder and test it out in game. Now this is what the original take a shower interaction looked like. And this is how it looked with my mod installed. Now there's one more thing I would like to show you. When hovering your mouse over all interaction balloons, you will notice that all interactions except from the first one will have this short description popping up. If you want to change this text to one of your own too, this is what you will need to do. Back in studio, go to your object tuning line and scroll down to the super affordances section. Do everything like you did before. So copy the number of the interaction you want to change, extract it to your package file, give it a unique name and copy the tuning ID to the right spots in the object tuning. Now click the interaction tuning again and scroll down until you see the text you want to change. So in this case, these two are the main text lines and if you scroll down, this is that description text. Now just repeat the steps I told you before for changing that other text, so you could end with a custom pop-up text like this one in your game too. I hope you all liked this tutorial and if you did please leave a comment, hit that like button and share my video so more people will be able to find it. If you got any questions just leave them in the comments below. Don't want to miss any future tutorials, custom content videos or effect player episodes then please subscribe and hope to see you next time here on Backy Gaming.